Morning, Steve Free in Chicago with the grain comments. Well, markets are lower overnight, led by beans. Beans down about 20, 21 cents, below $10. Uh, corn market is down about two cents. Wheat's down about three cents. Um, we don't have a lot of new grain news, but what we have is important. Um, as far as the weather is concerned, we had some rains across Wisconsin, northern Illinois uh, overnight. Here in Chicago, it was pretty loud. Uh, these rains have moved into central Illinois. Uh, it is hot. And um, I think that the main thing is this heat's not going to last very long. Uh, the map suggests that by Sunday, uh, temperatures across the Midwest will go back to normal. Uh, when we look at the extended maps, they show rains in the northern part of the Midwest, uh, maybe in the east, uh, over this ridge. Uh, the ridge kind of stays down in the southern plains where it will stay warm and hot. But the crops here in the U.S. Uh, could be okay. And uh, so we saw a month ago the longs liquidate in the corn, and now it looks like they're liquidating in the beans. Um, as far as the uh, crop ratings on Monday, some people think that this heat might bring ratings down a little bit for both corn and beans, uh, but still the ratings are historically high. And you're starting to hear people talk about the corn yield being above the USDA's uh, 168 and that their bean yield being above 46 and a half. So all that adds to the supply, which adds to the bottom line. Uh, we also continue to hear rumors floating around that China um, Cytograin may uh, take some of the reserved beans and use it for the crush. That could reduce their import demand. Um, as far as uh, the auction, the Chinese uh, sold only about 50% of the beans that were up for auction. Uh, so we'll kind of watch and see if that increases uh, down the road. Um, other than that, uh, funds yesterday, they were sellers of corn and they bought oil and wheat. Uh, continue to be um, long, let's say anywhere from 70 to 100,000 contracts of beans, which they probably will try to get out of, and that should be lower in the prices. They're uh, adding to their small corn short and their record uh, short in the wheat. As far as the wheat market is concerned, we saw that France uh, lowered their rating of their soft wheat crop to only 42% good to excellent. So we've got uh, U.S. soft wheat prices for the first time lower than French prices. And so that could help our wheat export demand. But still, bottom line, there's too much wheat in the world. As always, these are my thoughts, not those of ADM Raving Investor Services. And have a safe and profitable trading day.